Husky pride was in the air this past week as St. Cloud State University celebrated its 150th year anniversary and our athletic teams were looking to come out on top during homecoming week. Welcome into your weekend warm up. I'm your host Kirsten Kroll. St. Cloud State women's hockey finally got in on the fall action as they had their first game of the season hosting the University of Regina at the Brooks Center. But it was a quiet first two periods as both teams were held scoreless until McKenna Westlow early in the third found the net giving St. Cloud the one to nothing lead. Then with less than six minutes left in the game, Hallie Theodosopoulos came up huge, netting one between the pipes and after an empty net goal at the hands of Clara Himlerova. The Huskies took their season opener three to nothing. The women's volleyball team took the road this weekend, ranked number 15 overall to face off against Minnesota State and number seven ranked Concordia St. Paul. The weekend started off strong for the Huskies as they picked up three set sweep over the Mavericks and moved to 11 and 0 on the season, tied for the best start in program history. The Huskies then battled the Golden Bears and took the powerhouse to a full five sets, but Concordia rallied late to pick up the win and stopped the Huskies winning streak. Team leaders included Lindsay Rachel, Clara Krenz with 44 digs, and Maddie Torvey with 92 assists. The women's soccer team had two road games over the weekend. On Friday, the women walked away with a loss against Concordia St. Paul after a late goal in the 83rd minute. The ladies had found their spark that they needed last Sunday, getting a win over Minnesota State, but it didn't come easy going into halftime. The Huskies were down one to nothing after Bryn Destin scored in the 24th minute. That didn't stop the ladies going into the second. Claire Shea was able to find the back of the net to get the equalizer in the 55th minute, assisted by Nicole Freeze. Ending the normal 90 minutes with a tie, they went into two overtimes. Shea didn't wait long to put one into the back of the net at the 103rd minute in the second overtime, assisted by Monica Majeski, bringing home three points on the road. The cross country team had one of their largest meets of the year as 32 teams and over 200 runners competed in the Roy Grive invite hosted by the University of Minnesota. St. Cloud State finished 15th out of the 32 teams with a final score of 489. Senior Chrisley Lofgren led the way for the pack finishing 23rd individually with freshman Chelsea Bully placing 50th. Wrapping up our homecoming festivities was the football game. As St. Cloud took on the Northern State Wolves, first quarter, Lawhorn steps up in the pocket, finds Peo Parker for the touchdown. St. Cloud strikes first up 7-0. In the second, Northern State will answer back as Hunter Trotman goes for the deep ball and connects with Dakota Larson. Larson left wide open and goes into the end zone untouched. That ties the game up at 7 apiece. Later in the quarter, Lawhorn finds his senior wideout, John Solberg. That's good for six points. Solberg's now fired up. The student section is jumping around as Solberg goes around and celebrates with them. Huskies retake the lead. They're now up 14 to seven. Right before the half, the Wolves would end to find out the end zone. Trotman sneaks his way in. Wolves would go into halftime down 17 to 14. And in the third, Northern State would take the lead off the running touchdown from Glayton Runwich. That would be the game winning score as Northern State would play the spoiler to St. Cloud's homecoming as they walk away with the 20 to 17 victory. Coming up next for St. Cloud State, the football team stays at home to get back on track versus Concordia St. Paul. After suffering their first loss this past Saturday, soccer stays in town as they face Wayne State and then second place Augustana. Then women's hockey has their first conference games at home versus Ohio State. And wrapping up the weekend, the men's hockey team will drop the puck for their first action facing the University of Alberta. To find out more information on Huskies athletics, you can go online to SESUHuskies.com. That'll do it from our exciting homecoming week. We'll see you right back here next week.